Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on the sound component. You can use this component for background music for your level or even triggering sound effects. I'm going to show you how to place this and rig it up so you can use it for your game. Just going to place some blocks down and we're just going to say we have two different rooms we can enter. Um, and we'll just do something basic and quick for this example. Something like that. And we can go either left door or right door. And we want them to play two different sound effects or two different uh, sound tracks when we enter. So we'll put down a numpad. We'll select it remove the default behaviors and components on the asset and apply the component play sound. Now the sound does have a range for some settings and it requires a purple gem to increase that radius. So right now it's not very big. This is useful for sound effects and other things. Um, but if we press L to bring up our library and click gems and then we want magic gems and they're the, the purple ones then we can go rarity and say legendary um, and we look for assets that have the most purple gems so we can get a larger range so we can go epic and what we're looking for is an asset with three of these gems so this healing pad and what we can do is we'll put the healing pad down and we'll give that, uh, we'll get rid of the behaviors and components, but we'll give that the sound component. And you can see the radius is a lot larger. It's 112 compared to the numpad, which is four. So you can see uh, having this gem in an asset is beneficial if you want to cover the whole map. Um, but for this example, uh, we can just use the numpad because it will work for what we want to do. So with the sound component, we'll head, edit the logic and we'll turn off 3D sound. 3D sound means that the further away you walk from this asset, the softer the sound is gonna be. So it's sort of like if the radio was in the room that you walked in and as you walk further away from the speaker, you hear less of that sound. That's 3D sound, so we'll get rid of that. And um, we'll go ahead and we can pick some tracks. So these ones here are sound effects. Uh, you can go through them yourself to hear what they're, they're like. And here is the tracks. So we've got a blockchain wrap we can click on. Uh, and we've got play on start. So if we go ahead and press tab, you can hear that our track is playing. Uh, and it's ignoring the radius. So the radius means nothing. Now this will be our background song. Uh, I've just thought I'll mention here in global parameters at the top, ambience and select sound. There are background sounds, uh, tracks that play in your game. But bear in mind, if you pick one from here, you can't toggle it on and off. Um, so we can avoid using this setting for our music if you want to rig up something like this system in it for the time being. Um, so for here, we'll edit the logic. We don't want to play it on start. We want to play it on message receive. And that one can be play track one. Uh, and we want it to be interruptible. So what that means is that we can either stop it or pause the track. Uh, we'll go ahead and pause it. And we'll say pause track one as the message. Um, and what we can do here is we can We can just even do pause track for the time being. And a message required to play it is play track one. So what we'll do is we'll put down another numpad. And this one here will be in the middle of the two doors. And we'll give this the speaker component. And a speaker component is good for detecting the avatar. So we're gonna detect entity. And we'll detect the avatar and we'll bring that circle down maybe 2.5 so it fits in this room so when you walk out of that room it's going to send a message um, edit logic 
Uh, so pause dot track. And we'll make that auto hide in one second. So what we've done here is it's going to detect the entity avatar, which is you. When it detects you in this circle, it's going to send a message pause track. Now that pause track will be sent all over the map. This one here is listening for pause track. When it does receive it, it's going to pause the music. Now we need something that plays the music. So play track one. So same thing, we're going to duplicate this and we'll bring it over here. So when a player walks in the room, it will detect it. And we don't want them overlapping, so we'll just move them so they're not overlapping, they're just touching. And when we edit the logic, uh, it's going to detect the avatar, but instead of pause track, it's going to be play track one. So if we go ahead and test this out, we'll save it before we test. It's always a good idea. Especially when you're experimenting, you don't know what sort of bugs can pop up. So we'll go ahead and press tab to test. And as soon as we walk in the room, it plays our track. And when we walk out, it pauses. And when we walk in, it continues from where it left off. All right, so what that allows us to do as well is duplicate this detection, bring it over here. Make sure that the blue lines aren't touching. We can go ahead and say play track two. So now when a player walks in this room, it's going to detect the avatar and send the message play track two. We can go ahead and duplicate our other music track, bring it into this room and we can change the song. So it's not that rack one. It can be world's dubstep. That'll be fine. Edit logic and we'll change our message to play track two. And now we already have two rooms. We can put this underground and we can push this just slightly underground so we don't see it or run into it. It's always a good idea to turn off collisions here as well in the settings. So now when we walk into this room and we can have a battle in here, beat a boss, that sort of thing. And then we can run into this area and it's playing a different track. And a good thing about this is you can pause the, the sound or pause the um, song with detections. So if you have rooms that you're going through uh, one by one or at different areas, you have a detection to pause all current tracks and another one to play current track. Uh, and you can rig it up so that you can trigger both at the same time. So for instance, if we bring this over here, we can change this message to pause track two. So we're specifying which track we want to pause. And we'll go ahead and bring up our assets. And we can change this message to pause track two. So now when we walk out of this room, it's going to send a message pause track two, which goes ahead and turns this one off. So as we walk out, that one's turned off. If we duplicate this and bring it up slightly, we can also have another one that says play track one. And then we can go ahead and get rid of this one. We don't need it. And that one will be play track one. So what we're doing here is we're having a smooth transition from one track to the other. There's no like gap in between. So we'll go ahead and test this out. So it's playing our track one. And then when we walk out into the next area, it's paused the other track and played the new track. And now if we walk back out, it's not gonna work. So we need something that will trigger again this one to turn on and this one to turn off or you can block off the door so they can't go out uh, so it depends on where you set up these positions you can change the sounds and when they trigger i hope that's been useful um, you can also do it for sound effects as well so all you've got to do is say uh, if you have a chest 
Uh, yes, don't forget to untick your settings, otherwise things won't show up in the library if you have those settings still ticked. Uh, we can go ahead and select a chest, we'll just do a nice simple one here. And you can have it so when the player clicks on that chest with interact, it sends a message um, play.sound.chest and then you can have a speaker component or a sound component you can have it nearby you can select um, generic coin and you don't want it to be loopable you want to play it on message so play .sound chest. and now when we go and click E on the chest we hear the sound of coins so I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions, send me a message on Discord. More than happy to help. Have a great day.